on the sidelines were 18 indigenous men and women from across Guyana who were honored for their contributions to the development of Guyana at the Humaniana, and Stephen Campbell's was celebrated for his life and work. Minister Lo said the NTC is aware of what is going on within the interior regions. Shows themselves of each village, you know, to to keep account, not only keep account on their, their villagers, but also when they're leaving the communities, they must say where they're going and who they're going with, especially if they're offered work on um, mining, um, mining claims and so on. If they say they're going with um, Romanics or, or who they're going with, um, that that is, you know, we think that that would help us to keep a check on them. Minister Lowe also stated that employment is a sore need in interior communities. They need money. Therefore, if you have a, a gold shout or their working claims along, naturally our men would want to go and then our women would want to go and cook and things like that. Is when they reach in there, then they reach with different situations like no pay and you can't leave until you get, you know, until um, or something of, of the sort, because up to last week I had two cases where um, no payment for six months, you know, the girl came and she was, but she had expected to draw all her money when she was ready to leave, but it so happened when she was ready to leave she didn't get paid, so she came out. So. We're trying our very best and of course we're working along with the Ministry of Social Protection to help in these um, in this trafficking in persons. When asked what steps are being made to see more employment in those regions, Minister Lowe said... Well, uh, I'm actually, our government is really, um, we have approved in the budget 977 million for the hinterland employment and youth service which is a training program for youths which will give them the skills to be job ready to enter the world of work because you know you have a lot of youths there need an income but what can they do can they repair the vehicles that are being broken down every day in the villages can they fix the plumbing from the, the school and the, and the washrooms? Can they fix the electricity and all those things? Can they get jobs from contractors in like electrical installation uh, and things like that? No. So what we're doing, we're concentrating on giving them those skills. So it's a year's program. Minister Lowe also feels that ecotourism can play a major role to end trafficking in person in interior locations. So getting them trained as um, tour guides and uh, you know run to, to build their own lodges and be able to run it themselves creating um, tour packages and so on. I think that will be such a bright business and agriculture because we have land in the hinterland we only got to identify the need so that a niche market so that we can work towards that we're only a year and four months in this as a new government but we have started i can tell you that and um like i was telling some of the ntc and parmakatoy the young lady she's 19 years old and she already bought Tensing sheets to make her own shed because she's told me she did well in joinery. She's very proud of that and she's starting her own joinery shop. The USA 2016 Traffic in Person report states that Ghana is a source and destination country for men, women and children subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor. Women and children from Ghana, Brazil, Dominican Republic, Suriname and Venezuela are subjected to sex trafficking in mining communities in the interior and urban areas. However, the report also stated that Ghana's newly elected government reformed the anti-trafficking interior ministerial task force in January 2016 and has maintained efforts to prevent trafficking. Andrew Weeks reporting for Safe TV2 Headline News.